Now there's a lot of different ways that you can monetize a blog. You can use AdSense, affiliate marketing, you can throw in some e-commerce. But what if you're looking for a way to generate some donations and tips? Well, I'm Mike with Arrive Sanctuary and today we're taking a look at Buy Me A Coffee and whether or not it works. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always hit me up on social media or use the contact form on ridersanctuary.com's website. So Buy Me A Coffee is kind of like Patreon and Ko-Fi. It's a platform that lets people support you as a creator by giving you donations and tips. And a lot of creators will reward their supporters with uh, digital goods like first time access to new books coming out or videos that are in the pipe to be uploaded. And since many creators make a living from their supporters, something like this is quite handy. So how does Buy Me A Coffee work? Well, first of all, you're able to create your own page. And in here you have your header image, you can add in a description of who you are, what you provide, you can create goals, and then you can also add posts to your supporters. Anybody visiting this page can say that they want to donate one, three, or five coffees at a time, or they can enter in if they wanted to do a hundred. They can put in an optional message. They can keep choose to keep it private, and then hit the support button for three hundred bucks. But as you can see, I can't donate to myself. And they also have the option to become a monthly member for a subscription fee. Of course, if you're going to do this, you want to make sure that you're giving something in return that's of high quality. And when you create a Buy Me A Coffee account, you're provided with a personal link. In this case, it's Writer Sanctuary. This can be pretty much anything you want. Of course, you want it to make sense, you know, like you use your name or business or whatever it is you're doing. And as you can see from my overview, I've made $42 in tips so far. I've been using it for a little over six months, I think. And Buy Me A Coffee comes with a few different ways that you can share your link. You can share on Twitter and Facebook, or you can copy the link and place it pretty much anywhere you want, such as emails. And when you're trying to add it to your blog, you can take this URL and link it in any text like you would anything else. Or you can use the button and widget generator. Now the button generator, you're provided with a basic layout here. And when you're creating your button, you can change the color of it. You can add some custom text, change the font. So like say if we want to make a black one, and we want to say, buy me coffee please and we just hit the copy HTML code and it puts it into the computer's clipboard at which point we would just go to WordPress and take a HTML widget throw it in the sidebar and then paste the code into it however we can also use the widget generator which works similar to the button except for it creates a much larger widget which is the whole layout here plus all the different messages from your past supporters so you have your description your widget message the color you want to make it the position side spacing bottom spacing and once you have all that done you just hit the copy widget code and then you go into wordpress and html widget and paste the code in there now personally i use ultimate short codes which allows me to create a button in wordpress and then i can just add the link in that it works fairly well and sits on the right sidebar and doesn't pull any data from third-party servers which means i don't have to worry about the images coming from buy me a coffee slowing down my website but if you don't have website speed issues then it's probably a good idea to use the button or the widget generator. And like any other system, you want your profile to be completed and detailed. You want to give people a reason why they should donate to you. And the more fleshed out your profile is, the better you'll look. And this is true whether you use Buy Me Coffee, Patreon, or Ko-Fi. Now with Buy Me Coffee, you have the ability to use PayPal or Stripe. From my perspective, I use PayPal. And since I opt in to pay the PayPal fees myself, I also have to pay those. Otherwise, you can uncheck it and anybody using a credit card or something like that, they will get hit with the fees, not you. Personally, I figured that if someone's willing to give me $3, then at least I can do is cover the $0.39. Cents. There's also a partner commission that comes out of Buy Me A Coffee. So as you can see from a $3 donation, it's a $0.39 cent PayPal fee minus $0.15 cent partner commission and I net $2.46. I know some people are probably getting up in arms over it, but if you think about it, that's two forty-six dollars I didn't have yesterday. Is Buy Me A Coffee safe? Well, from what I've seen so far, yes. Mostly because it uses PayPal to process the payment information. And I've been using PayPal since 2003 and I've never had a problem with them. I know there's some people out there that had issues with PayPal in the past, but I'm not one of them. So if you don't want to use PayPal, you can always use Stripe. Now one thing I want to point out is the newest edition is Shop. From here you can set up a way to sell all kinds of different things. And Buy Me Coffee gives you a couple ideas, like share the first draft of your next book with your readers using a Google Docs link. I might do this because I have some books coming out soon. 
You can also share upcoming videos on YouTube with lo loyal fans using YouTube Unlisted, which is how a lot of videos in Patreon work. You can take orders for advertising on your blog or Instagram page. Or you can sell digital products directly by sharing a zip file from Dropbox. So there's a few different ways you can make money with Buy Me Coffee outside of just accepting tips from people. And the more that you offer people, the more likely they'll donate money to you. Now when it comes to WordPress, Buy Me Coffee does have a plugin. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, it hasn't been updated in more than a year. Now I usually try to shy away from plugins that haven't been updated in that long simply because it promotes a security risk. It's always a good idea to keep your plugins updated. But since it hasn't been updated in more than a year, that's one of the biggest reasons why I use uh, Ultimate Shortcodes instead of the plugin. I think probably why they haven't updated in so long is because you can just um, use the generator to create a button or a widget, which would make sense. Not a lot of people use a plugin if they just hit the copy button. So does Buy Me Coffee actually work? In my case, I'd have to say yes. Granted, I'm not rolling in the dough, but then again, I'm not really promoting it all that much either. The only time you ever see my link is on some of the more recent YouTube videos and on the website. And until I can drive a mad amounts of audience, I'm not going to make bank on it. Because whether it's Buy Me a Coffee or Ko-Fi or Patreon or even AdSense, it all comes down to the number of people who are seeing the link. If you're only getting five visitors a day, there's a good chance you're not going to make much money at all. It all comes down to traffic. But I'd have to say, out of my experience so far with it, I like Buy Me a Coffee. I'm kind of playing around with Ko-Fi to see how well it works. And there's a lot of differences there. For one thing, Ko-Fi has like a image gallery that you can upload stuff to. It's really cool. And even though Ko-Fi is free, it, all the cool stuff is locked behind a $6 paywall. So I'll be doing a video about that later. But as for Buy Me a Coffee, I find it quite uh, useful. So what ways do you monetize your blog? Leave it in the comment down below. On Ryder Sanctuary, it's just buy me coffee and AdSense. That's mostly because I can't really find an affiliate that fits what, what I'm trying to do with the website. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos covering blog information, text broker, WordPress, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'll see you tomorrow.